Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, we're going to be playing a game. Now some of you may remember that last year I played a game where I had to throw darts into a map and wherever they landed would give me the location of where I had to spend the night. And it was interesting, we ended up with racehorses at the back of the van, a dirty litter field lay by in the middle of nowhere, and then finally, in quite a nice park up by a lake. Now this week we're gonna be doing something very similar, only this time with Emily, our dog and a cat, and um, Emily doesn't know. Today, Em, mm -hmm. I thought we'd play a little game. <laughs> you up for a game? Yes, what's the game? Now, you remember how last year sometime I went off and I threw darts into a map and we, I just stayed at whichever park up I landed at? Yeah. So I thought we'd do something similar, only slightly different. You fancy it? Okay, go on then. Oh, God! <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be fun. I feel that our definitions of fun are very different. Right, so Google Maps says it's going to take five hours and 48 minutes, call it six hours to drive from here to North Wales. Today is Wednesday, we need to be in North Wales by Friday. Yeah. So I thought what we'd do is we'd break the journey up into three sections, so a section for Wednesday driving, yep. Thursday driving, Friday driving, yep. and then as soon as we get to the end of the section, we will pull over at the safest possible place to do so, open up park for night, and whatever is the nearest park up, that's where we're going to stay. Okay, so what section are we driving? So what's the, what, so, two hours? Are you doing it in like hours? I'll do it in time, because if we do it by miles, we could cheat and pick nice park ups, but we're going to okay. do it by time. So, okay. so it's two hours per day of driving, six hours shared by three, two hours per day. So if we drive, now because of traffic and we're in the southeast, we could drive two hours, only, only be like half an hour away from home. So once the clock gets to four hours left, as soon as that's two hours out of the way of the drive, of the total driving time needed, yep. we will pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. Yeah. Probably be on the motorway at that point, so we'll take the exit, stay at the nearest possible park up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do have one caveat for the rules. If it is a lay-by where we cannot get out to let AJ yeah. have a wee, we will go to the next nearest park up because as much as we love making fun YouTube content, he doesn't need to suffer. No, this is true. I'm just doing my double checking because... Oh God, where are we going to end up? This is, this Ready? is stuff you do by yourself. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you where we're going first, we need fuel. Oh great, exciting. We're all fueled up, we're ready to go, but I'm not too sure how I feel about this. You're gonna love it. Apparently. Well, it's your sense of adventure, it's an adventure. Well, we'll see what it turns out. If there's a condom there, then... <laughs> <laughs> it's British Park Ops in the South East, the first one. There's gonna be a condom there. Condom or tissues? I won't bore you too much with um, British motorway footage in the rain. I'm sure it's very interesting. Uh, we are just coming off to the point where the clock is going to hit four hours left to go. So Google Maps says there's four hours almost left to go. And we've just seen a sign for services. So we're going to pull into that services, open up park for night, and then we'll see what's around us. We're like, we're pretty much in London. Yeah, I'll put up on the map where we are. We've literally just got off the M25 and joined the M40. So we're still very much in the southeast and still very much urban. So it's going to be, um, I'm not going to hold my breath for something exciting. No, people are Uh, just because they've got a McDonald's doesn't mean you need to get one. I wasn't even going to say that. I did have like a half lunch of these. I had fruit. No, oh, you've earned a McDonald's then. Oh, no. oh yeah. I hope this isn't the nearest park up on park tonight because it's going to be a fortune to stay here overnight. Well, no, there is a curry bar with the spoons. You want to stay here, don't you? I'll be alright. My new regime of eating less is making me hungry by the way. Right then, let's see what's available to us. <sighs> Right then, Park for Night. If you don't know what Park for Night is, basically it's an app and you can click around me and it'll just bring up all the nearest available park ups that other people have used before. <laughs> so around me, 
uh, we are staying at this service station. So the little blue dot is us and the P is the nearest available park up. Um, you can see it brings up other options uh, all dotted around, but we are staying at the service station. <laughs> But surely there should be a caveat that we've got to try and find a free one. No, this is the game. So um, we're standing here, but it has got that weather spoon, so we do get to go out for dinner. <laughs> oh, God. You best go and find out about the parking tariffs. <laughs> so when... Oh, Louise. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. A minute, or maybe it's this one. No, yeah, she's having a laugh, isn't she? I'm sorry, she has all these bright ideas, but for 35 pounds, no, 35 pounds, 35 pounds. We can stand the travel lodge for a cheap half, it's too much. Like, that is I know... a lot of money to stay in somewhere really shit, and it would yeah, be I know you said like. Uh, but come on! No wonder lorry drivers are always like piling up in the laybys. <laughs> Thirty-five quid. What else is there? There is a really, what looks like a really nice pub stop just up the road. It is the next nearest one. Yeah. So we could um, we could try that. We could uh, invoke the dog walking caveat, and you know we can't really go for a walk round here. No, exactly. Look, there's so many cars. Three point eight miles. Should we try the pub stop? Yeah, let's try the pub stop. That's it, bud. You need better walking, don't you? We have done the odd pub stop before. It's not something we normally do, is it? Because no, it's not. We generally find different ones, to be fair. But it's probably going to cost us more to go to the pub stop. Yeah, I know. But at least we're not parking in a like yeah. dirty, filthy service station. Uh, the reason we don't generally do pub stops is because we do campsites instead. Yeah. Like normally, if we're going to do an overnight where we pay, we get a campsite of a shower. But we have just had a shower because we've only just left the house, so we are clean. Yes, it's good to are. go. And I don't mind taking one for the team either and, you know... Having a meal out? Having a no, meal. I bet you don't. <laughs> Look, again, I had fruit and half a sandwich for lunch. Oh, who designs these flipping car parks? It's like they just cram in as many spaces as they can and then have very little road or corners for you to manoeuvre out. Oh, I wonder what's on the menu. It looks very British. I don't know if they'll have, uh, like, old school British. I don't know if they'll have... Um, veggie options for you but they're steak for me really yeah. well i saw that on the picture on park for night someone to put it on royal standard england i think that's what it was called isn't it yeah. historic owl house oh, wow. oh you do like an owl isn't it? Yep. We are all okay to stay. Um, if we want to leave before half past ten in the morning, we just got to open and close the gate at the at the uh, end because somebody won't be here until then. And we have a menu. <laughs> For God's sake. So <laughs> yeah, beers and food. We're going till like about eight or nine o'clock. How are you feeling about this game of chance thing now? Huh. Don't mind it actually. Let's have a look. Or to do a plant burger. This is a uh, cold wet shop <laughs> return back to the UK, isn't it? Ain't right. it just? One, two, three, go! The slow day, the calm, and the night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. It's a rare sight, but Emily had chosen the simplest of meals, cabbage and mash. There's only so many plant burgers a vegetarian can eat. I'd gone for pulled pork in a bun, but the most excited of us was AJ. The pub was host to an old blind cat, and I think AJ really thought his luck was in. This was him for the entire meal. everyone when I say morning it's coming up for lunchtime <laughs> Emily's been working all morning and I don't know what it is somehow when you work remotely you get ready in the middle of the day don't you you do but I tell you what work has to come first unfortunately so you have to look this good after in the afternoon <laughs> this is my looking good dance 
feel it's maybe the same as the others, but I'll work on that. Anyway, uh, this pub stop's been all right. We're kind of, even though we're quite close to like civilization and urbanness, we're in the kind of middle of nowhere. Uh, the pub is a very nice building on the outside and on the inside. So yeah, really pretty location. The food was okay, probably a bit overpriced in my opinion. <laughs> I would say definitely overpriced for what you got, for sure. And Emily is the expert when it comes to food, but it was nice enough, and if you're looking for a pub stop, it's not a bad one at all, is it? No, there was walks and stuff, so it was all right. Yeah, there's walking all around. Unfortunately, the weather has hampered us a little bit. We had the diesel heater on this morning. <laughs> I was chilly. That thing has not been called into action for ages. Anyway, you nearly ready? I am nearly ready. Ready for the next impromptu stop? I'm, I'm actually quite excited to see what it's going to be, you know. See, it's fun, right? It is, yeah, because you just don't know. And we would never have picked this, so we would never have stayed here otherwise. No, no, definitely not, because if I was going to pick a pub... Uh, pick a pub A pub park up, then I'd be looking at the menu first. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> oh, condensation. Remember that? Right, buddy, are you going to co-pilot? You co-pilot him, dude? You coming to co-pilot? Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> He's like, well, are you coming, Mum? I know. It should be roughly four hours to go. Three hours and 58 minutes. Okay, then, folks. So, same rules as yesterday. We're going to drive for, what is it, two hours, or till there's two hours left. Bailey's Bottom towards <laughs> Bailey's Bottom. If I'd known we were staying in Bailey's Bottom, I would have made a much bigger deal about it. So, yeah, we're going to drive till there's four hours left, and then we'll see what the lights have we've got in store for us tonight. Are you excited? I am excited. I am, Mum. I'm, actually, yeah, I am. I'm really excited. Is the step in? Yeah, the step's in. The windows closed? Windows closed, doors covered, all sorts. Got the cat? Got the cat, stuffed the oven. Let's go. There are two hours left on the clock. We are stuck in traffic on the M6. Uh, slap bang on top of Birmingham, I believe, so it's, it's going to be interesting. I told you it was going to be Birmingham, didn't I? I, do, I knew it! Uh, so we're going to find the next exit, the next available exit. We'll take that, open up park tonight and see where we're spending the night. And it looks glamorous, doesn't it? I see a little... I told you it was going to be Birmingham. My geography isn't that bad. Well, what's wrong with Birmingham? Birmingham's a lovely part of the world. I've never actually been, so I can't comment, Louise. I doubt we'll be going all the way in. It's a bit on the outskirts. Outskirts. One of the nice industrial estates. You make me smile when I think of you. If I get down low and I get blue, I can't get enough. Wednesbury. We're going to be getting on the A461 to Wednesbury. You ever heard of it? No, not at all. It's quite exciting now, isn't it? That you just don't know where. Are you going to be staying? Yeah. Yeah, it would be more exciting if we um, was in somewhere slightly more. We'll be at a you good chance. You don't know what Wednesbury like. Wednesbury might be lovely. You don't know, so you can't say that actually. There's no planning stuff here. It's quite um liberating. No. No. <laughs> no. I'd like to know that I'm going and have a little look about and stuff. Normally, I'm checking to see what bakeries are close by. Oh, it's probably not pronounced Wednesbury. We know that. When do we ever pronounce anything right? Do you reckon it's Wednesbury? Wednesbury. Like yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah it's got to be right. Wednesday. Wednesbury. I reckon yeah. it's Wednesbury. Wednesbury. Someone will tell yeah, us in the comments. Many people will tell us in the comments. Don't go, wait, I had to say Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. When, no, but you don't pronounce the D, do you? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. So, yeah. But we say Wednesday. Yeah, so it's got to be Wednesbury. Wednesbury. Yeah. I told you, they're going to tell you in the comments, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we'll know in a week. It's all right, because I like all the help. No, you don't. You bitch and moan about it. <gasps> You go, oh, I can't pronounce every word in every country all the time. <laughs> Actually, I do say that. It's true. Do say that. We go to so many countries so quickly, with so many different places, we, there's no way we can pronounce everything correctly. Although I don't believe that I sound like that, though. Yeah. Mm. Depends how hangry you are. Well, who is that? There's a car park. We will head for that. Oh, look, you'll be happy if... Um, oh, if we have to stop if here. If we have to stop here, they've got, got a TK Maxx. Um, yeah, TK Maxx. JD, Burger King, Nando's. <laughs> oh, you're praying now that this is on it, aren't you? I am, yeah. Have a look for the AMPR, what's it? Yeah, look, oh, there's yeah. the parking things. Damn it. Right. Maximum stay four hours, this is not 
Right. Park for night, park for night, park for night. So that's where we was yesterday. Yep. We're now up. See, look, you can see I haven't cheated. Search in this area. So the nearest one is, I think, that one. Would you agree? Jerkin. Yeah. That's just the side, off the side of the road, so you can't have that one. The next nearest one is either that one or that one. Look, it looks the one. Yeah. Yeah, it does say daytime parking for Walsall Arboretum locked overnight. Well, we don't want to be locked in in case something happens overnight. That's true. That we need to get away. You've got to think of safety. Oh, slim pickings around this north side of Birmingham. Yeah. Small gravel parking area roadside leads to dog walking area. Okay. No reviews. It's just the one person that's ever stayed there. Has it been? 18 minutes. 18 minutes? That's the closest one we could find. So we've had to trawl through quite a few park ups to find one that hasn't got a gate that closes. Obviously, if there's a problem with AJ or a mm -hmm. medic, we don't want to be trapped in somewhere. And one that isn't a lay bar on the side of the road. So Birmingham, yeah, I'm afraid this northern part, exactly where we are, is slim pickings. I'm sure there's loads in Birmingham and around Birmingham, just where we are. There's none. All right, shall we go? Or do you want to go and TK Maxx first? Uh, we'll just have a little look, shall we? I hope so. Yeah. I don't think we've got the weight allowance in the van for all that. Oh, of course we have, of course we have. It's when you want something. New toy, new kayak. So we thought we were doing all right in TK Maxx. It didn't cost us a thing, nothing you liked, but We've lost all of our money. Why? What you bought? A new tablet. We need a new tablet for we, movies. We and do need a new chilling. tablet. Ours is on the blink, so we've got a bigger one. Very excited about this, but um, spent money we probably shouldn't have done. Yes, but I need a wee, so you've got to turn the camera off now. Sorry. What do you recommend this will do? This looks like a little bit of us, doesn't it, Barney? It looks great for dog walking. It does. Just check we've got internet. Oh yes, please. I've got to work. We've had a bit of a nightmare finding a park up. Uh, we'd looked at two before this one, both full up. One of them didn't have internet, but you have, you got 12 megabytes, so you're, you're fine. fine. I'll be fine. That'll do, that will do. Nice little jump first, Rudy Doody, that way. That dog's got a ramp. Oh. I hope you watched that, bud. We've got some lessons, because you're going to have to have a ramp soon. I hope it's just interesting in your smelly old slippers. <laughs> Very cheesy. <laughs> No, I'm too tall for that one. I don't think we can get down from here. Do you not? No. I don't think there'll be steps, but we might be able to get on a towpath somewhere. Which way should we go? Have you got left or right? Uh, let's go. Well, well actually, let's, we need to remember where we are to the steps to come back. Well, it's a straight canal. We go that way and then come back to the steps. Yeah, but what if there's more than one set of steps and we've got the wrong set? I think we'll remember this set of steps okay. next to that bridge. With number 10 on it. Yeah, see? Okay. You have to think of little things to mark, Louise, when you're on walk so you don't get lost. I wasn't prepared for fun facts for this video, but I do have one about Birmingham. It has more canals than Venice. It's cool, right? Really? It does, yeah. My favourite time of the day, dinner time. I've got to admit, Birmingham has pulled a blinder, a peaky blinder, if you will, with this park up. Uh, it's just a little clearing nook in some trees uh, in the fields, but I've got to say, it's a cracker, isn't it? Oh, it is, and the walk is lovely, really, really nice. We was all excited to get out. <laughs> yes, to be somewhere where we can walk around and explore a little bit. Emily's just dishing up dinner. One thing I missed, I really missed when we was in France, is my current favourite dinner, 
which is sausage pasta bake. In France, it was far too hot to have the oven on to cook anything like that, so it was all quick meals, really, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So I'm looking forward to this because I'm on a diet and I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> oh, don't the diet, the whinging, the amount of whinging about food I'm gonna have to edit out of this video. <gasps> I, I can't help it, I'm just so hungry. Diet or no diet, it's not as nice without cheese on top. <laughs> Not buy it, Louise. I've got loads of cheese. Yes. Where's all the moaning? We're just bad. <laughs> I didn't moan. <laughs> it's not moaning, been at moaning all. for the last 20 minutes since this group of beaver kids have been outside. Well, I, I've got no. Look, I like children. But they're very loud. <laughs> when you group children, it must be like. um Wives, when you group a load of wives together, you've had a drink, this is it. You're this being is... sexist again. <laughs> More sexism. Our peaceful park up in the woods has been invaded, hasn't it? It has by like brownies or something. <laughs> this one is the beavers. Beavers? <laughs> this one is not happy about it. No, I was... <laughs> I just want to clarify, because I don't want people to think that I don't like children, because I do. I love my nieces and nephews and our friends have got some really cute kids, but... You just, just don't want a group of 30 of them <laughs> behind our back window. No, exactly. It's been a hard day at work, <laughs> you know. Just needed a bit of peace and quiet. I thought this was going to be a good park It will. It'll be fine. They're going to go on a little walk and they're going to... That's going to be a good thing because they're out. They're outside, they're in nature, they're learning about singing nettles and they're going to go and learn about other creatures and stuff, so... Put our grumpiness down to time in a month and leave it at that. We'll <laughs> see you lot tomorrow. Good morning, folks. We've really enjoyed this spot. It's been all right, hasn't it? It has, actually. This is the better spot out of the two, for sure. And how do you feel about leaving everything to chance? I think it's a 50-50 split, isn't it? Yeah. You just, yeah. I really enjoy it because you don't have to plan. Obviously, when we travel as much as we do, you don't this way you don't have to plan, you don't have to worry about things, and it's it's something different. And to be honest, we just wanted to make a bit of fun out of mm -hmm. what could have been a very boring couple of days driving across the British motorway network. <laughs> yeah, so it has done that. It's done it's done the job, it's made it fun, it's made it interesting. Yeah, 50-50 for the me. The pub stop was alright. Emily just didn't like the the lack of vegetarian options, and that's your own silly fault. So <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. Short and sweet from us this week. Um, really, we just wanted to jump on as a couple because you haven't seen us for three weeks now together and say hello. So it's not hello. A bad thing. <laughs> well, that's not been together for three yeah. weeks. She's not wrong. Anyway, oh, um, this time is precious tea. A lot of you asked for it to be available in black. It is now available in black. We've uh, still got the logo on the back. Uh, to the very smart Alec who put on Instagram, but you won't be able to see the writing. Well, we've outsmarted you. We've put the writing in white. Hey, eh? <laughs> up here for thinking. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and on that note, I think we're pretty much done. I'll leave the merch website thing link. Uh, down below in the video description and yeah we're off aren't we we are yes off for more adventures yes so we'll see you lot on the next one <laughs>